Hey everybody, I'm here with a quick video on Shawnee Henderson, formerly Shawnee O'Neill, um, Shaq's ex-wife, okay? Um, she wrote a book that came out yesterday, it's called Undefeated. And in this book, she talks about many things, but one thing she did talk about is, she says she's not quite sure if she was ever in love with Shaq. Married five years, had four children together, he adopted and gave her firstborn, which was not by him, his last name, that which allowed her firstborn to reap all the benefits of having a, a O'Neill as your last name. And he lived with the family all together as one. And here's the thing. I know what many of you are going to say, well, Diva, she has the right to talk about her life. Well, Diva, it's just her truth. Well, I want to say this. We don't have to always necessarily tell everybody our truth. Sometimes we can hold our truth within. And my thing is Shaq has admitted over and over and over again that he has messed up in their marriage and their relationship and with his family in terms of him and the infidelity. At what point do you not leave it alone because you have four children by this man and his kids have to hear this over and over again. Now they have to hear from their mommy. Mommy don't even know if she was really in love with daddy. I think it's messy. I know many of y'all may not, and y'all can chat with me in the comments and we'll talk about it. But let me go ahead and share screen. Let me see. So to um, Shawnee saying that, Shaq said, I understand. I wouldn't have been in love with me either. Wishing you all the best and a heart emoji he puts. All love, Shaq. He was young. He was immature. He messed up. It is messed up. It happened. No, it was not right. But at some point, you got to say, you know what? I got to let this go and move on and live my life, especially if you're remarried and you're happy with your husband now. It's all good. Would I have wrote about it personally? I'm going to say no, right? So now Shawnee, Shawnee Henderson says she doesn't know if she ever loved Shaq. She said, I was in love with the idea of building a life together. And that's why he gave that response. Like, okay, girl, it's all good. I wouldn't have been in love with me either. I was a mess. But at some point, we got four kids and it's five year, uh, we had a five-year marriage. Can we let it go? But I guess not. Shawnee wants to sell a book. So hold on one second. Let's get into this a little bit more. So Shawnee Henderson states how marriage to Shaq fell apart, going missing. So he said, you know, she said pretty much throughout their time together, he went missing a lot. So Shawnee Henderson saw the signs of her marriage with Shaquille O'Neal beginning to crumble long before their divorce rocked the sports and entertainment world in 2011. Henderson, the creator of VH1 reality series Basketball Wise, explained uh, what went wrong in their marriage which played out during O'Neill's star-studded Lakers days in her book, Undefeated, Changing the Rules and Winning on My Own Terms, which came out yesterday. I'll go buy it. I'll support. I enjoyed this, those sweet years um, being a mother and raising my children. My days were always busy with kids and family. And every now and then, I got to travel or enjoy a little of the NBA high life. But invisibly, my marriage was beginning to crumble. Henderson, now 49, wrote, okay? Oh, she actually used her um, new name on the book, Shawnee Henderson, okay? Um, and I'll put the description of this um, vi um, this article in the description of the video um, because I can't play this um, Instagram, you know, for promotion for her book. It's really nice, but I think I might get a ding um, if I play that. So, um let me just stop this so I won't play in the background. As I've written, it wasn't it wasn't obvious early on. You know, when you um, first get sick and the symptoms are so mild that you're not even sure you are sick, that's how things were in the early years. I was busy and happy and didn't notice what was going on. But as the disease progressed, the symptoms became harder and harder to ignore. Henderson and O'Neill, who got married at Beverly at the Beverly Hilton Hotel mid-season in December 2002, shared four children, sons Sharif and Shakur, and two daughters together also. And he has a daughter from a previous and earlier relationship. And Shawnee had her son Miles before they got together, but he kind of adopted Miles and Miles, Miles carry his last name. Um, they look good there. Um, Shawnee is beautiful. So that's all of them. That's the whole family together there. 
All right. So Henderson recalled hearing rumors about O'Neill when they moved from Los Angeles to Miami after the center was traded to the Heat in 2004. Take Shaquille's habit of going missing. Henderson, who has since remarried, recall, or shafted all the grocery shopping. His manager paid all the bills. I took care of the kids. So where, so where was he going in the morning, during the day, and at night? No one works out that often. When we moved to Miami, I even heard a rumor that he had a condo in Miami Beach. I started to get suspicious, but he always had an answer, and I could never prove anything. Eventually, I was forced to admit that my family life was um, was wasn't as blissful or or perfect as I wanted to believe. On the surface, though, it appeared as though Henderson and O'Neill were living there happily ever after. They lived in a ma in massive in massive mansions with luxury cars and enjoyed lavish Christmases at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Looking back, I don't know that I was ever really in love with the man, but I was in love with the idea of being married to the man I had a family with, Henderson wrote. I was in love with the idea of building a life together. I truly did enjoy spending my time with him. NBA road trips gave me a chance to be with my husband and experience the NBA life for a little while. Henderson explained in the book's introduction that O'Neill tried to be the best husband and father he could be to her and their children while navigating fame and receiving a lot of attention from women. He was trying to be a, a world famous 30 something multimillionaire with thousands of women throwing themselves at him and people in general begging just to be in his presence while beginning um, while being a husband and a father at the same time. She wrote he could. Um, how could anyone possibly know how to do that? So, ah, uh, beautiful, nice picture. In comparison to him, oh my gosh, she's so tiny. Okay, Henderson made it clear that O'Neill never tried to hide her. He would blow kisses to her from the court at NBA games and was so proud of their family, of their life together. It was not hard to fall for his charm, Henderson wrote of their first meeting in 1999 when she was working in a marketing apartment at 20th Century Fox. I staffed the premiere of Star Wars, episode one, The Phantom Menace for Fox. I was checking in special guests and Shaquille wasn't even on the guest list. But he was such a big deal in L.A. that nobody cared when he showed up unannounced, she wrote. My bosses let him in the theater, but he ended up spending most of the movie in the lobby trying to talk to me. After a few days, Henderson and O'Neill were an item, and they went on to become one of the most famous NBA couples. It's a really cute picture. O'Neill has taken the blame for the demise of the couple's marriage on multiple occasions. In his 2011 um, memoir, Sha um, Shack Uncut, My Story, O'Neill explained that he was a guy with too many options and that infidelity played a role in his split with Henderson. During an April 2023 appearance on the um, Pivot podcast, Shaq said, I was bad. It was all me. While the four-time NBA champion did not disclose details about what went wrong in their in the relationship, he did say that he wasn't protecting Henderson and, and protecting those vows. O'Neill filed for divorce in Miami in September 20, um, 2007, and the couple reconciled nearly a year later, with Henderson telling the Associated Press at the time that they were not going through with the divorce proceedings. They called it quits again in 2009, and their divorce was finalized in 2011. It led to Henderson finding her own financial independence and creating Basketball Wives in 2010. The reality show follows the daily lives and dynamics between wives, ex-wives, and girlfriends of professional basketball players. That's a really cute picture. After almost a year of planning, I left my husband of nearly seven years, Shaquille O'Neal, along with the life my children and I have come to know. I told my divorce attorney I didn't want to fight with Shaq. I just wanted him to take care of his kids, Henderson wrote. I didn't care about anything else. I had also told him I didn't want a cent of Shaq's money, and I meant it. I wanted to be free to have the life I wanted on my terms, even while raising five kids under 11. I turned my back on mansions, luxury cars, private jets, and a lifetime of wealth and privilege. I'm sorry about that, guys. 
a, a lifetime of wealth in prison. Henderson explained that she and O'Neill now have reached a place of peaceful coexistence, and she doesn't want to ruin that with her book. So while I'm going to be honest, I'm going to wallow in, I'm, I'm not going to wallow in the mud, she wrote. Before I go any further, it's important that I stress that I'm not blaming Shaq for what happened to our marriage. He did the best he could with the tools he had. Neither of us took the time to invest in our future by seeking marriage counseling, which um, looking back, um, we probably should have. We both thought we were doing the right thing by jumping into family life, and we gave it our best. The CEO of Amira Inc., the production company behind Basketball Wise, uh, Mary passed to Keon Henderson in May 2022. O'Neill wished them well in June 2023 interview with singer Monica. Shawnee was also a perfect woman and I messed it up, O'Neill said during an appearance on Monica's Apple Music um, Hits Mold Talk radio show. I hope this gentleman treats her the way she's supposed to be treated and I'm going to still love her. She's still my wife. I will always protect her, provide and love her, married or not. I think that's a sweet thing to write. Listen, guys, um, it's messy. Um, I will get the book. I will read the book. I can't say because I'm 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 book, I'm knee deep in books now. Um, that I will recap it on my show, but maybe I will. Listen, I wish her well, I wish this book well, and I do appreciate that she says she's not gonna get in the mud in this book. Um, with regarding the marriage with um Shaq. I, even though I thought that one statement was a little bit messy, but you know what? He's taking it on the chin and he's okay with it. Listen, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video.